Hey guys, what is going on? Is Edward here as usual? Uh, so I just got done with three videos um, and now I'm gonna switch over to another messy video because as soon as I got done, I got a comment not even two minutes ago telling me to do this video. I pulled it up, it looks like it's pretty good. It just came out, I think like a day or two ago. Um, but I already see it has a lot of feedback on it. So I definitely wanna see what it's about. 30 plus Lionel Messi versus all of his haters. And uh, I'm excited for this one. As you guys know too, Usually with copyright, I could just do my reactions over the video. Um, we don't have to really pause it. I don't think I've ever paused it unless it was something really important, but let's get into it because I'm excited. And just so you guys know, these are the ones that I use for music because obviously they are way better for music, but they hurt your ears like crazy. So I use these for the soccer videos because you know it's not like I'm listening to music and trying to jam out. Even though the soccer videos, man, I gotta tell you, some of these editors, you guys have some really good music on there, seriously. But let's get into it. I'm excited. Messi doesn't love FC. Well, siempre entre puse el club antes que cualquier cosa en todas mis mis decisiones de que llego acá tuve la posibilidad de poder haber medido muchísimo tiempo antes y ese sido por por dinero tuve la oportunidad todos los años de irme por mucho más dinero. That's from his uh, interview. El cual amo, el cual me dio, me dio todo, el cual me ayudó desde desde que llegué, el club de mi vida. Pero me dolieron más las cosas cuando se me ponen en, en duda mi mi amor por este club, porque por más que me vaya o no me vaya, eso no no va a cambiar nunca. <tose> I, I, Messi just keeps growing on me more and more, man. I, I love guys like that that would be in the locker room. What I want to see from Messi as well, because he's the best talking, talking to. Hey, thanks. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. I'm just speech, kidding. So he's the leader, I'll leave the link down below to the original one. They need the best. Who drives that unity, though? Is that come from the players as well, Messi? Yeah, the players have to do that. And I think we saw the pictures before of Messi in the tunnel talking to the team. And when the the, the great Lionel Messi is speaking to them teammates, they have to listen. They have to come together. Because I said, without that unity, as, as what Pablo was talking about, you can't achieve anything. It's true. He's, he's become captain this year for the first time, and it, it, it's almost he's almost stepped up a little bit, hasn't it? It's almost it, almost like it means a little bit more. Sevilla pick up their first win over Barcelona. It's capitalized. I remember that, unfortunately. Mistake by Philippe Coutinho. It's not Lionel Messi. <laughs> it's Coutinho. <laughs> Coutinho with it. Oh, beautifully struck. You have to credit Messi. He could have been selfish and said, "All right." He's not a selfish guy. We know that, though. But you guys have taught Messi me that. Says, I'm the leader. I'm He's the a captain. big I'm time be team player. And give it to Coutinho, who needs the confidence right now, and he scores the penalty. Suarez the ball. glancing. Ah. Uh, Coutinho has his brace, but he's got the confidence. We'll have to do some videos on him too. Here today. Yeah, that's pretty I've seen him this, right? He hasn't got a right foot and he can't hit the ball. Look at this. Was that off the post Messi today? In the middle. Shh. Top shelf for Mama Keeps the Cookies, yo. Fire. He's got room now. It's Leo Messi. 1 1. The feet of Lionel Messi. Too quick, too cute. Liman, 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 Liman. God, I love the announcers. Did he just say too cute? Messi scores. Messi never tracks back and does it. Who said that? Yeah, he does. But that was Lionel Messi coming back and uh, performing a perfect tackle. That's why he's so special, Rob. 
very prepared to get back and help and support and do his work great. No problems at all. Fabulous attitude, really has. I have and to admit, good, my good style good of play player. is really actually strong. more guided really towards strong. Messi than it is Ronaldo. But I grew up on Ronaldo Messi. over Messi. To huh. back. Very effectively too. I always ran back to play defense. I, I won state in cross country too. So still willing to come back and help his team. I always would come back on dude. That's crazy. Touch though takes it right into the corner, Rodrigo. And oh. Messi just moves him aside, continues edging towards the I area. Love it. Messi tidying things up. Aquilani again, and Leo Messi picks his pocket nicely. He just look at that. Messi hunts the ball, looks for it, works hard for the team. Yeah, but the, the thing is also, he's not a player who just waits. Up Are you front kidding me, right? Why would? Oh my! No, it all starts. He ran that back almost into his own goal. <laughs> Good pressure from Messi and Argentina. Medina caught in possession on this it's occasion. Insane. Just didn't release the ball in time. Messi wins it back. Messi lost his you know, uh... The guys he's playing against now are all extremely athletic. Look at that acceleration. Like are you the kidding? All the defenders today generally can run like the wind. He's making them look slow. He's making them look ponderous. He, he wrong foots them. He makes them look stupid at times. Messi's onside. And he look usually finishes. Of course, he finishes. Also, that was right footed. That was right footed. Warm to the task. I think he is. Here he comes again. Messi. Look out. Bursting in is Messi. Single handedly. He's done it again. The roughness disappears. When the match too good. Too fast. Way. Too strong. The right hand side <laughs> this time. There's Messi driving forward. Tries to split three. Tries oh to go God. around. Messi on the charge. Messi. This is dangerous. And with Messi. Still with Messi. It's Look at the speed. Sure fire yellow card coming here. Messi can't perform in me again. Well, Messi scored more goals than anybody else against the Premier and top six teams. Ooh, facts. Without even playing in the EP. Ooh. I like it. I like this video. And punished by Lionel Messi. Messi can't win trophies anymore. Bars the cup champs, league champions yet again. They are once more the kings of Spain. Mr. Lionel Messi. Yeah, buddy. The best FIFA men's player of the year, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Great what video, honestly. The making for the Argentinian ace, who claims his sixth FIFA Player of the Year award. An absolute Jeez. record. Well, thank you so much, man, for the guy that recommended it. Um, I actually responded to you and said I'm going to do it right now, so you're going to see this tomorrow. But don't worry, I did it immediately as soon as you posted it um but yeah no thank you this video was great i do want to know though i was trying to look in in like the uh comment section or in the description who i wish they would have quoted who said those things about him because man that just sounds so kind of i don't want to say dumb i'm not trying to be rude but that just sounds very uh how do you put it um arrogant very like i mean really come on a at the end of the day you have to have respect for players like Messi, even if you're not a Barcelona fan. Even if you technically say, I'm not a fan of Messi, you have to appreciate the skill and the what he does and brings to the team on top of that. Not just how good he plays individually, but even, even like I said at the beginning, I love guys in the locker room when I used to play that would be the type to hype people up, hype people up. Same thing, I used to be a captain too, so me and my, if we had, we usually had like two or three strong leaders, so we would always be saying, keep going, keep going, it doesn't matter if we're down 2, 3, 4, 0, oh, keep playing, man, and man, Messi just has that mentality where he is always locked in, and, uh, and that's probably why, to be honest, I wish I would have watched more Messi videos when I was younger. Obviously, uh, <laughs> when I played soccer, uh, it was quite a few years ago, so... There obviously wasn't this good of videos out yet, and he was still just a kid. He was, I mean, he was probably the same age as me, 18, 19. 
Um, so again, being able to see this now though, I do wish I would have maybe watched a little bit more to kind of mimic more of his offense versus Ronaldo. Cause I do love Ronaldo's offense too. Cause I, like I said, that's kind of how I grew up. I, I do a lot of step overs. I like to do, I like to, I like to embarrass people. So I like to do the fancy tricks, you know? So, uh, and my friends hated me cause I am a Canadian. I am from Canada. I was born in Canada and uh going especially going overseas like germany like oh yeah no this is a kid from canada and you know my mom's side is also high fat ha <clears throat> sorry i lost my words <laughs> but also on my mother's side is high half icelandic and canadian so it's like i'm about as far north pole as you can be away from the uh football slash soccer community and uh yeah it just it always it always it, it was always fun when I got on to like a new team or uh, like we would play against another team and they would see me rocking because we had sponsors and stuff individually too. So one of mine was from Canada. So I had a little Canada flag on the back and he's like, are you Canadian? I was like, well, yeah. I was like, it's tattooed on me. I've had it on me for a long time. I, if you guys didn't know my tattoos, it's Canada and family and then the cross has come together. Anyways, but I just wanted to say like, never underestimate people until you actually see them play and give them that chance. Because again, when I was younger, I didn't have this knowledge. I was naive and I thought, okay, because at the time where I was living in America, they were telling me to go watch Ronaldo videos, right? So that's who I grew up mimicking, but his style of play, the way he gets back on defense, helps out in the midfield, that was me. I was, I was always running. And if I wasn't sprinting, I was jogging. You would hardly ever see my walk. The one thing that I will say that what my father taught me, this is this is what my mentality was in soccer. The first time I sc scored a goal, when I, I came here to America, there was no hockey rink anywhere, so I had to choose a different sport. And the first couple weeks of school that I went to at this new school, everyone was talking about playing soccer and we were playing it on the park. Um, it's just like this big open field and they had these two kind of mesh nets. They weren't even actual... Um, they weren't made for soccer, but they used it as a soccer field. So I just kind of started getting into it, and I did. I started at defense, kind of um, main set. So like we call it in America, I guess, a stopper slash sweeper. So I was the last line of defense. I was a captain on defense. So I had to tell people when to move up, push back, do what they got to do. Um, that was good. But then I grew out of that, and then I went up to midfield. Um, when I got up to midfield, that was maybe two, three, four seasons later. Um, coaches noticed I started scoring more goals. Um, I hit puberty, so I got a lot bigger, 6'3". Um, and I got a lot more athletic because I was in the gym every day. And I was also on the field every day. And I was also going to cross-country practice every day. So my entire day, literally, my morning was a one or two hour workout at a school on the other side of town. I'd have to shower there using their bathrooms which were disgusting i would have to come back to my school because it was like a i went to like a private kind of school um it, it was just a place where basically it's a little bit more it's a prep school it's a little bit more educational than just a basic public school um but uh, again obviously i didn't use my degree in college because i'm doing youtube i mean i went for web design and interactive media but at the same time, just long story short, I ended up getting moved to forward and and then wing and then back to sh just straight up forward, goal scorer. And if I would have known more videos about Messi or if people would have just said, hey, check out Messi and Ronaldo, I really wish I would have because I feel like maybe I could have even been better than I already thought I was, if that makes sense. But, you know, obviously I can't go back and, you know, I wish we had time machines, but I'll never know. But I do have so much more respect for Messi and uh, I, I can never, ever say anything bad about this man. And uh, what he's contributed to soccer, to the fans, and just in general to Barcelona. Um, if I was a Barcelona fan, like diehard fan, I would be so proud to have this guy on my team. And of course, I can totally now understand why everyone, every time they go in and make comments, Messi's the GOAT, Messi's the best, Messi over Ronaldo. I get it. But for me, you just got to understand, like, I respect all. So I'm not going to say, like, oh, he's better than this guy, better than this guy. But I will say he is amazing, one of one, unique, unbroken. And like I said, this guy cannot be stopped even as older as he gets. I mean, 
to me, he looks just as good a shape as he did when he was 19, 20 years old. But that's just me. Um, and outside of that, guys, that's the end of the video. So I'll go ahead. I'll leave the link down below as usual, guys. And you guys have a beautiful day ahead. I'm headed out, guys. On to the next video. Like I said, as soon as I get out of the hospital, start feeling a little bit better. We're going to be doing this way more, guys. So trying to uh, hopefully you guys could catch up and uh, stick with me. Appreciate you guys so much. You guys have a beautiful day as always, man. We on to the next one.